Hi Virgo, this is your career reading for May 2020. I hope you're doing well today and we're going to see what is coming through for your reading. So I hope you're doing well and also um, do check out the um, description box below for information on the free reading giveaway that I do and also so yeah basically I do a free reading giveaway and if you'd like to win a free reading with me do check out the description box below. Um, I also offer a private paid reading situation so if you'd like to book a private paid reading with me information will also be in the description box below as well they're done within 24 to 48 hours usually um, and also well when I say usually I mean like it's definitely done within 48 hours but you know the bit in between I mean sometimes it could be done within five hours and sometimes it can take you know like a day so or two so that's that's pretty much that but also I wanted to mention as well that my intention bracelets are on Etsy so if you are interested then they are on there so um, it's mainly these two here this is just another one that I I wear but I make handmade bracelets um, on my Etsy store so these are on there so this one here is the attract better days bracelet and then I'm also wearing the career bracelet as well and if you're interested in purchasing them link will be in the description box below and also they're meditated with they're sage they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life if you want to check out the reviews definitely do check out my Etsy shop to see how other people have seen reviews and also free international shipping as well these are handmade by me and they are sent out by me as well. All right, there you go. Let's get started. All right, this is the Golden Universal deck. Let's begin. Expect the unexpected. Got a card that's flipped over already. Page of Pentacles. Heck yes. Heck yes. Expect the unexpected. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> I say that because, you know, during this time, we've got a whole global health situation happening. There's a lot going on in the world right now. These are uncertain times for many people. But also, I feel here that there's this energy of something really unexpected happening, you know. And let's, let's see what more is coming through in regards to this. Because I see abundance. Oh, yes, look at this. Four of Pentacles. This is an increase in money. Definitely an increase in money. Mm. Oh yes, definitely. Oh yes, yes, yes. I feel like that's just your, your reading today. Your reading today for the month of May is literally just going to be Virgo me saying, oh yes, oh yes, 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 yes. And I'll see you next month. <laughs> no, but really, this is such a beautiful energy. It's really about the unexpected unfolding for you. This here is about you gaining an opportunity in May. It can be a company approaching you. It can be someone, um, you know, approaching you to do something for them. Um, most likely even from the comfort of your own home. Um, or somebody, you know, really needing something to be done and then giving you money after that. But this is significant. This is like a good portion of money. So, that's that. Strong energy. But it gives you stability. Because the Two of Cups here shows you feeling happy, emotionally very fulfilled. And for a lot of you, this can also mean somehow uh, also... How can I say this? This is like, uh, it's essentially you attracting more money but also holding on to something. So for example, for some of you, you might just hold on to your career, you know, especially if you felt like it's gonna disappear or it's gonna disintegrate. This is about, you know, literally just being able to hold on to it and it survives. This can also be for those of you that have businesses as well, like you just, you're holding on for dear life and it survives, it, it you know, it makes it through. And for those of you that are unemployed, I see here an opportunity. This is unexpected, you know, expect the unexpected, literally. You won't even expect this to happen and it will manifest. That's that's why I'm just getting like so, you know, speechless is because you kind of won't even expect this, but then it will happen and you'll be like, whoa, whoa. You know, we are in some very uncertain times and in uncertain times when things like this happen, it shows you just how big the energies truly are. Sorry, that was so loud. It's the car cars that are doing that. Yeah, look at this. This literally is 
expect the unexpected, right? You might be expecting this to happen, but then this will happen. Ace of Cups is about abundance. It is about flow. It is about things coming to you, but just in such a, a, a rapid rate that you're like, whoa, 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 I don't know what to do about it. Imagine you want a coin, right? But then all of a sudden, a bag of coins just spills in front of you and it's yours. But all you wanted was just one coin. That's the kind of abundance here where you might just want something small, but then all of a sudden you get so much more than you expected. A flow of opportunities. You know, you might just want to resolve something tiny here, but then you find everything suddenly in terms of your career is suddenly falling into place. Fives and terror about change. The dynamic is strong. Wow. I really like what I'm seeing here. Look, look what we've got here. We've got the magician with the two of swords, right? So you may feel uncertain in regards to certain things with the two of swords. Remember, we are going to be in Gemini season towards the end of May, right? And that's exactly what the two of swords here represents. And it really shows here, but <laughs> wow. It shows the magician, you know, magician is all about communication. There is some strong communication I think you're going to have with someone and it opens up a door. They say when one door closes, another door opens. Expect the unexpected. You may feel like, you know, everything is just going to be the way that it is. Nothing's really going to manifest. Nothing's going to progress. You're just going to sit there blindfolded, sometimes indecisive, not sure what's going on. All of a sudden, the manifestation happens. Abundance, right? It goes from the Two of Swords to the Two of Cups. This is about things being really positive for you. I feel like, you know, this, this space here was reserved for a card because these two came out together, these two came out together. Look at this. This is about peace and harmony. It's about balance. Prayer and meditation will really help you. There you go. Fours and Terror are also about balance. 2020 is also really strongly connected to the number four because, you know, two plus two, four, but four is a number that is so, so connected to this year, really, really is, and this here shows some form of peace that will come across, you know, like a wave over you, you know, a wash of energy over you, where you'll feel like, no, I mean, like, things, things really did get better in May, you know, I do see things getting much, much better in May, so that's a good sign, okay, Yeah, Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. So we know that Jupiter is going into retrograde in May. Also Saturn and Venus will as well. But I also see here that actually this retrograde is bringing you so much abundance. It's bringing you the unexpected. And that's what can happen. You know, sometimes when we have a Mercury retrograde, yes, it can play havoc as well. Okay, I'm talking about Mercury. Yes, I am talking about Mercury. Are we, in, are we going to be in a Mercury retrograde? No, but I'm just talking about Mercury for a second. But actually, Mercury can also bring us so much more than we expected, right? People from the past can just come around and speak to us and things like that. Same goes with every other retrograde, is that yes, it can sometimes feel like we're going backwards, but actually, in certain cases, it can bring you so much more. And that's what I'm seeing. For you, there is more. There is this energy of things just progressing, a flow of abundance coming your way. Knight of Swords here shows opportunities. You're going to be talking to people who are going to offer you something here, or give you the opportunity to hold on to your career. Okay. Also, by the way, if you get into arguments with someone, it's going to be resolved. Just, just letting you know because that is a potential uh, thing that could happen. Okay. We've got here also the page of wands. Lots of ideas. You're going to feel very creative through the course of May, um, especially since you're going to be also in Taurus season and Taurus is ruled by Venus. So you're going to feel quite creative, I feel. And also the Six of Pentacles here shows balance, right? It shows things getting better. It shows things just getting stronger for you in general. And it shows you being given, you know, there are coins here that are being given. There's a scale on the other side. So a lot of balance, a lot of balance. Expect the unexpected, Virgo. This is your reading. So if this reading resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Do take care of yourself. My throat is going to literally give up on me any second now. <laughs> um, and take care, take care, take care, and stay safe.
Bye, bye, girl.